Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Milligan. I wanna show you this video as we are analyzing the Iditarod so you get a background of the sled dog races. Sled dogs. Winters are cold and long in Alaska and Northern Canada. The snow is deep and there are dangerous storms. Before there were roads, planes, and snowmobiles, it was hard to travel and get food and supplies during the winter. So people used the fastest transportation around, dog sleds. Dogs have helped humans travel in the Arctic for about 4,000 years. Huskies, a type of dog breed, Bred for these extreme conditions. These dogs are powerful runners and have thick fur that protects them from the frigid temperatures. Dogs normally pull a sled as part of a team. Teams have two to 20 dogs. The person who drives the sled is called a musher. Each dog wears a special harness. The harness connects them to the sled and to the other dogs. The dog sled usually has metal runners that glide over the snow and ice. They work like skis. Equipment and food for the dogs and the musher is stored on the sled. The musher stands on the back of the sled. The dogs start running when the musher tells them to go. The dogs love to run. That's why some mushers race their speedy dog sled teams in competitions. Dog sled races can be as short as a few miles or as long as a thousand miles. Some races can last more than a week. One of the longest races is the Iditarod. The race's trail goes from Anchorage, Alaska to Nome, Alaska. During the Iditarod, mushers and their dog sled teams brave dangerous terrain, blizzards, and freezing rivers in this challenging race to the finish line. Because the Iditarod is a very hard race, many mushers drop out each year as a result of injuries or bad weather. One musher took more than 32 days to finish the race because of a blizzard. To learn more about dog sledding in this amazing race, open Scholastic Magazine. Okay, boys and girls, don't forget to answer the questions on analyzing the Iditarod. We'll see you later.